Our new details tonight on the Lake County crime spree that left one woman dead. We were first to tell you that the suspect, Juan Razo, was here in the United States illegally. We're getting reaction on his immigration status from all sides tonight. That includes presidential candidate Donald Trump's camp. Yes, they sent us a statement that says, quote, this is a clear indication of why we need a strong wall protecting our border. Mr. Trump is an outspoken critic of illegal immigrants coming over our borders. That's why it's so important to have a wall that's impenetrable. Razo was in court today where a judge set his bond at $10 million and he is accused of trying to rape his niece, shooting and killing a 60-year-old woman in her home and also shooting a 30-year-old woman in the Metro Parks. Razo had a run-in with a sheriff's deputy on July 7th when he admitted he was in the U.S. illegally. Deputies called U.S. Border Patrol, which decided not to take Razo into custody. And tonight, many want to know why. Our home Bash asked an immigration lawyer that same question. But he's here illegally. Yes, sir. And they didn't take him. Correct, sir. And then we have this alleged murder. Yes, sir. They're talking about Juan Razo, an illegal immigrant who was allowed to stay and is now accused in a Lake County crime spree. We have a, a broken immigration law system. It's been broken for decades. That system being closely looked at now. These November 2014 memos from Homeland Security might point to the reason why Razo wasn't picked up. In them, we find new policies on when an undocumented immigrant should be detained or deported. Updated priorities include threats to national security, public safety, and border security. Juan Razo not falling under any of those categories. Another memo in April 2015 basically reinforcing that earlier policy, prioritizing who to go after. If their mere violation is a civil violation, which is an immigration overstay or being here undocumented, it, ICE may decide not to go after that person. Immigration attorney Richard Herman adding that while the instructions come from the feds, it's often up to local immigration officials to act. Congressman Dave Joyce covers the part of Lake County where Razo's alleged crime spree took place. This is a tragedy that could have and should have been prevented. We need to enforce our immigration laws that are on the books not blatantly ignore them. But Herman's saying it's those laws that need to be fixed. You know, we need law to fix the undocumented issue. ICE can't fix the undocumented issue. Only Congress can do that. And that was Homa Bash reporting. Now, we should note that Lake County officials called Border Patrol when they caught Juan Razo, not ICE. But in a statement, ICE officials told us that after his criminal proceedings and any sentencing are complete, they plan to take custody of him and pursue his removal from the country.